Hi there. Thank you so much for being here and um, purchasing the Lilac Beauty tutorial. Um, this is what our finished image will look like. Um, and the, the beginning image that I started with is this one right here. And we are going to take a few branches and things like that that I took during the session. Um, just additional lilacs and things like that that I took. Um, during the session, we're going to add it in around her. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're going to start. And then I'll show you the rest of the tutorial here. All right, so the very first branch I'm going to start with is this one here. And I'm just going to go layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to find the picture of the girl and click OK. All right. So now that I, when I go back to that other file, I've got my layer of the girl and I have my background layer. So before I resize and move anything, I'm going to turn this layer into a smart object and I just right clicked and I say convert to smart object. It's just thinking here. <laughs> there we go. So you know it's a smart object when you have this little like folder sim symbol in the corner. And I'm just going to lower this opacity so I can see where this branch is going. And I'm just going to grab my move tool and I'm going to move these branches to where, where I think I want them. I'm going to just make this a little bigger. So I'm going to hit control T and just make them a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to do that about right there. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm just going to bring the opacity all the way back up and I'm going to put a layer mask on this layer. So I'm going to click the icon here and bring up a layer mask, bring up my brush hardness at zero and opacity up at hundred percent and I'm just going to oh except it needs to be on a black brush I'm just going to um, kind of clear that away off my subject here all right now I'm gonna bring in the next one I'm actually going to go, yeah, I'm going to go layer, duplicate layer, and then bring it up on top of the other image. And I'm going to turn it into a smart object. So I right clicked and then convert to smart object. Okay, control T. So I'm actually going to flip this image. I'm going to flip it horizontal and then lower the opacity here and I'm going to move it and put it in place. So right about there. Okay, and I'm going to bring the opacity back up on that one, put a layer mask on it. And with my brush, just brush that away off my subject here. All right, so one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my background layer, Control T, or unlock it, Control T, and then I'm going to resize it. I'm going to resize her and make her bigger. Oh, 
Okay, so I have some painting to do. Again, just on her. Okay. This one. Okay, and now I'm going to bring my opacity down um, to like 20%. And I'm going to make my brush fairly large here. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge here and blend it. A little bit better here. Actually, I don't want that bit of blue, so bring those leaves back a bit. Going back to this layer, I'm going to just go around here a bit and blend in some more of those leaves back in. Okay. All right, so now that I've got that all done, I'm going to actually flatten this. And I'm going to go into the Lilac Beauty formula here. And I'm actually going to play um, Lose the Shadows. Okay. And it's going to brighten everything up. Um, but what I want to do is paint it off the background and just kind of keep it on my subject here. So we will use the black brush at 100% here, paint it off the background, kind of bring my brush down again, and just bring it a little closer to her. <laughs> All right. Flatten that one. I'll go deep in greens. I'm going to just put this down to 50% here. And I'm, with a low brush, I'm going to paint it off my subject here a little bit. Flatten that one. I'm going to do the hazy background blur. So it says here, one, please make sure layers are flattened. Two, when the pop-up box comes up, click OK. Then you choose a color, um, a mid-range color in your image and hit OK. okay. So I'm going to click on a mid-range color and we're going to, we'll paint it on at 100% around the edges here, just like we've been doing um, basically everything. And I'm going to bring the opacity down, obviously. <laughs> Okay, bring that opacity down. All right. And I'm going to bring my opacity on my brush down and just go a little closer to her. All right. And we'll flatten this one. I'm going to play my hazy mat. 
We'll bring this down to about 20%. on that and then bring up the brighten flower swatches okay and basically what this is is just a bunch of rainbow pastel color overlays and when you paint on them I'm gonna bring up the purple because I want to bring the purple out in the lilacs oh we need to bring my brush up so when I paint on the lilacs here it's gonna bring the purples out liking that at the 30% that it's already at and um, yeah I mean you could paint other colors on too if you wanted to but we'll see doesn't really do much on that one okay so yeah I'll leave it um, with the purples and we'll flatten that All right, so now that we're done with those um, layers or those actions that I have there, <clears throat> we are going to change, uh, we're gonna kind of liquefy her a bit and change the color of her bow. So we'll make a new copy of our layer. We'll go filter liquefy and it will bring up our liquefy. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of adjust her ponytail a little bit I just felt that it sticking out so far was a, a bit distracting. So I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. And same with this one. And here. Okay. I'm also going to bring up a... Um, Where's that selective color? And it says reds here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change the um, the tone a bit. And I'm also going to go into the blues and bring the blacks up a bit because as you can see there's some blue in her hair and so I'm just going to bring that black up a bit. Alright, so now that we've got that bow changed we're going to just invert this layer mask so control I and we're gonna just paint this all on her bow and the hair All right, so now we got a pink bow. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a solid color layer and it's gonna be in the green tone somewhere, but I'm gonna invert this, control I, and we're gonna put this on the color blending mode. And I'm actually gonna pick the color of her green dress here. 
it's coming up kind of bluish actually all right so now I'm just gonna paint this color over top of her hairband here I'm gonna pick a darker there we are Do something like that. There we are. The color of it's not really going to how I want it to look, so. Let me just find the right color here. Maybe that looks good. Okay. All right, so just like that. And I will flatten that here. And I'm just gonna take a picture so this is the before and that is the after so far um, alright so the next thing I want to do is go into my painted beauty collection and I am going to bring up the um, frequency separation with sharpen action and I'm gonna hit continue it just was telling me to make sure my layers were flat and I will explain this. This is just telling you here that on the blur layer is where you're gonna take the lasso tool, grab some of the skin and blur the skin. The paint layer is you're gonna lighten up under the eyes or anywhere else on the skin that you want. Gray layer is for all the healing tools and the sharpen here is um, for the eyes and mouth. So I will show you how to do those. First I'll grab my lasso tool and I'm gonna just zoom in here. I'm gonna grab part of her skin. I'm gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I usually keep it between seven and 10%. And I'll just hit okay. All right, so once I've already played this, um, the filter, bl the Gaussian blur, I can now just go in and do the shortcut, which is Control Alt F, and it will play that Gaussian blur again. Or you could go up to filter, and it always has your very last filter you played at the top here, and you can click it there as well. Okay. Grab a bit more. Control Alt F. Control Alt F. All right. You can hit Control D to deselect that. And now I'm just going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to change my opacity, sorry, my blending mode of the paintbrush to lighten and the opacity to 10%. And I'm just gonna zoom in here. We're gonna grab a lighter part of her skin and I'm just going to paint it under her eye here to brighten up her face a little bit. And we'll do a little bit more up on her forehead as well. Okay, and you can basically do this, you know, anywhere on the skin that you feel needs it a little bit. 
and brighten up the shadows or Okay. Now we're going to go to the gray layer here. We're going to bring up our heel tool and just kind of run over any little spots that we see. And we'll do sharpen details. We're going to go to brush again and we're going to um, go to normal at 100%. We're just going to paint this on over her eyes, nose, mouth, maybe her earring here. And I'm going to bring this down to 30. And that's before and after the uh, frequency separation. Okay, I'm going to flatten that. Now I'm going to bring up um, the dark creamy skin foundation and hit play on that one. Okay. So with my brush at 100%, I'm going to just paint it on over her skin here. So we're going to bring this down to maybe about 40% uh, here. Okay. We'll flatten that. I'm going to do the uh, eyeliner. And you just want to paint it over the eyelashes at 100% here. Lower that opacity down a little. Okay, I've got it at 52%. Flatten that one. We're going to play the blush. Okay. So all of these actions are just saying paint them on at 100% and then you just adjust your opacity to how you want it. Okay, put on that one. Lipstick brush. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back up to my, um, wait, sorry, go down here to the paint on light. Okay. And I'm going to paint it on her a little bit.
Okay, and I'm gonna lower my opacity here and just brush it on all over her. Okay, and flatten that one. And now I'm gonna go to uh, the painterly vignette. And just around the edges here. Just gonna, I have my brush at a low opacity still. If you paint this on at 100%, it's gonna be a lot, so you just wanna lower your opacity down. Flatten that one. Um, now we're going to go to our art artistic dodge brush. Press play. And you're just going to take this brush. Um, it's going to be your, um, your dodge tool. And at f between 3 and 5%, you're just going to paint over the highlights on your subject. And I'll speed up the video while I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm going to flatten that. And then I'm going to play my artistic burn brush hit continue and now this is on the burn tool and again at three to five percent um, on the shadows you're going to paint over all the shadows on your subject Okay, so before I do any other actions, what I'm going to do is um, go into a photo filter and I'm just going to bring up a warming filter, um, maybe at about 30%. And with um, my paintbrush at about 40%, I'm just going to paint it off of the greens in the background because I don't really want the greens to have that yellow um, to it. So we'll paint that off. I just really wanted it on my subject just because her skin was looking a little um, on the bluer side, a little cool side. We don't really want that. You know, I'm going to actually um, totally fill this, so I'm going to hit, um, I think it's control backspace, alt backspace, there we go, alt backspace will fill it with black, so, alright, so I changed my mind, I'm going to actually um, just paint it on her um, with a white brush here, just warm her skin up, up a little bit and Okay, that looks better. All right, we'll flatten that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the um, oil, sorry, the art, artisan oil paint finish. We'll play that one. 
All right, so it says on the paint effect layer, paint off the nose, eyes, and mouth. And then on the sharpen details, paint over any details that you want a little sharper. Hit continue. All right, so with my black brush at 100%, we're gonna go in and paint this effect off of her eyes, nose, and mouth. And then with this one, if you want her like lashes sharper and her earrings sharper, maybe her lips a little sharper here, you can paint it over, over that. So this is just really softening everything. You can really see it in her dress here, so I'll zoom in. Okay, it just kind of softens everything. And we'll flatten that one. And then we will go to Sharpen for Print. All right. Now, I always have this one at 50%, but if you're finding that it's just a little too much, you can bring the opacity down. On this image in particular, I feel like 50% is good, so I will flatten that. Okay. And then we are going to play the light noise. And I usually bring this one down to about 30%. And as you can see, it's just adding a small amount of grain over top. And I do this to every image that I'm doing a lot of work on because the grain kind of tricks the eye a little bit and hides all of that painting and things that we've added to our image, um, kind of hides it to the eye and just evens everything out. So. We will flatten that, and then you can save. You know, you could you can save it any time you would like if you want to save it in between. Um, you know, things that you're doing, uh, and I will show you that before. This was midway, and finished. Um, one thing that I realized that when I was adding in the flowers, I forgot to do was um, blur them a little bit. Uh, so what you could do, um, if you forget and you realize uh, this should be a little more blurred, um, you can either use your blur brush, make a new layer here, and just go right in there, you know, and blur it, paint it on. So you can see it's a little blurred. Um, or you can go in and go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'd probably only do it at like, you know, for this one, three or something like that. Um, and then just put a layer mask on here and paint that off of her because we don't want her to... Um, Sorry, I painted the uh, blur. Okay, the, get your normal paintbrush <laughs> and paint it off of her. Okay. There. So that's what you could do if you, you know, add a few things and you realize that you missed blurring it. Um, you can add a little Gaussian blur and paint it off your subject. Or you can just use your the blur tool. All right, so we'll flatten that one. And that's done. So thank you so much for being here. Um, in the next tutorial, um, I'll just kind of show you some hand editing that can give you a similar look and feel to the actions. 
and um, I hope you enjoy playing around with the lilac beauty actions and um, using them on your own images and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!